Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. What is going on? Uh, if it's your first time here, check it out. Um, it's better than a cat video most of the time. But search iTunes or SoundCloud, Google Play, anything for WCR Nation. That'll pull up 65 episodes of goodness, all 30 minutes, and coming out every Friday. Uh, if you are somebody who watches every single week uh, religiously, Thank you for checking us out and uh, being one of the awesome, cool kids. And if you're one of the elites, somebody who orders your supplies through me and you listen to every episode, you give us a thumbs up, you've reviewed us and everything else, it is because of you that I get to drink name brand soda. So thank you very, very much. Um, and if you want to order supplies through me, I am a rep for Window Cleaning Resource, obviously. Uh, give me a call or even better, shoot me a text at 862-312-2026 and I can certainly hook you up and you become one of the elite. So go and do that. Real quick, I want to do a couple quick shout outs uh, from last week's show. Uh, Alan Brown, what's going on? Chaz Miller, the man. Cameron Clark, what's up, dude? And uh, the winner, winner, chicken dinner of last week is Shane Bernauer. Bernauer put your names every time but shane what's going on man all you got to do is email me your info at josh at window cleaning resource and you win 50 dollars credit in the swag bag and if you want to win all you got to do is comment on youtube that would be awesome and if you haven't clicked the thumbs up and you're on youtube let's do that i want to get over 50 this week so go ahead and click it right now i'll give you three seconds two one awesome hey i really really genuinely appreciate it this week we are talking to the man, Mr. Joseph. What's going on, man? We're, we're talking this week about something that's freaking awesome. It's, it's kind of a concept thing that's kind of been out. I've done a little bit of it, but it's this is going to be huge. And I'm so happy you brought the show idea kind of up to me about talking about residential route work. And I was like, dude, we have to talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a very, very important part of our business that we kind of just stumbled into. Uh, we just started doing it this summer, and it's been uh, it's been pretty awesome. It's something that we've always heard about, and it was kind of like that. I don't want to say taboo is like you know a fancy yeah. type thing. That'll never but, work. Man, One of those, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is a real thing, and once you adopt it and you get in, you are never gonna want to let go of it. Nice. Now, give credit where credit's due. You actually talked to Mr. Martinez, right, Chris? Yeah, back in the day, Chris Martinez, he um, he did like a little Facebook Live, and his crew was on a house, and he was explaining how they do residential route work, and he was explaining how having your truck or your vehicle in the area with the logos on it all the time, neighbors will see you. They're going to become more familiar with you. Yeah. And it's then it becomes kind of like a keeping up with the Joneses. Like my neighbors are always, getting <laughs> done. you know, right. I can't not get mine done. And uh, that's what's happening to us. You know, we're um, we do a couple of houses. It's not a, not a ton of houses that we have that do this, but we probably have like five that um, do weekly. One, one or two do weekly. We have two that do. Um, bi-weekly and then we hit one once a month but still just being in the area that frequently has gotten us other one-off jobs and you nice. know people just they they, they see they're it. really taking a liking to it they like the the maintenance packages we call it yeah well before we get really kind of into it i want everybody if if people don't know tell us who you are what's your channel <laughs> all that good stuff uh, well, my name is Window Joe on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love the subscribers. Is is it Window um, Joe? Is it Window? Yeah, I have to say it like that, or is it? Can I say like you know Midwestern know Window you, Joe? I don't know what you're talking about. There's only one way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Window Joe on YouTube. Uh, I I don't have that many subscribers, but we're trying real hard, and uh, we're trying to provide some value to people and. Uh, We'll get there. We'll, we'll be up there with the Steve-O's and the Luke's one day. Nice, nice. You'll be eating Reese's in no time. Yeah, 100%. Nice. Well, go check it out. Uh, if you guys are listening and watching and you're always looking for new content, check out Window Joe. One of my favorite channels ever, so you have to definitely check it out. And you were at the convention, too. I think, I don't know if we met before, but I think that was the first time we actually met was this year. Is that 
Is that about yeah, right? Fir- first time, first time at a convention. Nice. And man, that uh that that was awesome. I I will tell every single person <laughs> that's in the service industry, you got to get to these events. It was it blew our expectations right out of the water. Everything that we thought it was going to be, a hundred times that. Nice, nice. And you just got married. Not to get uh, all personal, but so you brought your new your new wife, right? Yeah. Your, your, yeah, your... Noel. She uh, she became a, a nice little window cleaner herself, and it like nice. wasn't on her radar, and she enjoys it too. And you know, we're just the uh, the dynamic duo. You know, we uh, we go to work every day, and you know. It's a yeah. struggle sometimes, you know, working with your wife, you know, trying to be the boss and not be the boss and be bossy, but, you know, we make it happen and I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, nice. I was actually just talking to somebody in the fertilizer industry and I was explaining something about how uh, we were just at a show and they went, you have a window cleaning and pressure washing trade show? I said, aren't you in the fertilizer business? Don't you have like a fertilizer show? And they're like, well, yeah, it's like AgCon. I'm like, exactly. Every industry's yeah. got their thing. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. You're under a rock if you haven't heard of it, but yeah, that's good. It was it was nice meeting you, by the way, for the yeah, first man. time. And that, and that place was awesome. The, the Marriott Marquis. Oh, my God. Did you know that that <laughs> hotel was in, um, oh, what movie was it? when they, they the people they're fighting each other they got to kill each other off the hunger games oh really yeah that, oh, that hotel I didn't even was that, they actually filmed there really nice yeah we, that wa- was like we the... watched it the other day and we saw the the elevator going up and we're like <laughs> we recognize that place i was there <laughs> yeah that hotel is actually the largest uh atrium inside atrium or open atrium in the world for a while i think yeah. when it was built so but anyway it was awesome. This year is going to be in Branson, so that'll be interesting. I've never been to Branson, nor have I heard anything good about Branson or bad, so I know nothing about it, so it'll be interesting to go. But yeah. anyway, off topic, but back to residential route. Now, I kind of want to throw out my thoughts, and you kind of tell me what, what are myths and what aren't. Now, we've done it also, so I know a little bit kind of about it, but the big thing that we kind of ran into was almost an educational side of things because truly in Europe, this is how they do it, right? Everything right. is done in a route. That's why, you know, the uh, Europeans, they go, Oh man, it must be so nice for you guys to make, you know, $600 a window cleaning. And we're like, Oh man, it must be so nice for you to do windows every single you know month or every two weeks. So right, they right. do it over there. But, but how's the education? How have you found, kind of how do you lay it out there for people education wise how do you get you know people you know what we we really don't have like an educational process they almost requested it we had these uh we got involved with a property manager and after we were done it was like a 1400 hundred dollar job big house and he's like we want you back in two weeks and i kind of like looked over and i'm like all right perfect i'm like We'll cut it down substantially. You know, we'll give you a percentage off if you keep it at a biweekly, you know, rate. I was like, we're not going to charge you full price, but we're basically coming back here to touch up what has gotten dirty. You know, the yeah. exterior gets a full clean. And say you have anybody on the inside, any kids that touched any of the doors or any pets that put their noses on the windows, you know, we're basically just maintaining the inside to make it perfect for another two weeks and then coming right back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, there was no real like, you know, education. They really requested it, so we kind of stumbled into it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Now tell tell me tell us kind of how you lay it out. Like, what's your package? If we had Window Joe cleaning, like, what is your what is your packages? How do they break down? Let's talk price a bit on it. Like, just tell me the whole thing. If I was a customer, what are my sure. options? Sure. So we have uh, we have three different levels of service. We have our works package which takes care of everything. The screens, track, sills, inside, outside glass. Then we have our plus package is our middle package, which is inside and outside glass only. And then we have a basic package, which is just an exterior window cleaning. So depending on what their needs are and what means the world to them, we're very flexible. We always have clients that want certain things done. You know, some people want just the exterior and the screens. Um, sometimes they just want inside and out in screens. We really just customize it to whatever they're looking for. And, uh, yeah, we, we never really turn anybody away. It's, we, you know, we make whatever we're doing, we make it work for us. If they want just the first story done, we'll just charge them for the first story. We always hit our minimums. 
Nice. And uh, like I said, we always just make it work for us. Yeah. Yeah. So when somebody kind of comes to you and says this now, how are you selling a residential route package to somebody who is already a customer? Like, how does that come up in conversation? Um, we, we let them know that there are maintenance packages available. And if they do it, depending on the frequency, we knock a percentage off. So if they're doing it every six months, we'll take 10% off the total bill. If they're doing it much more frequently in that bi-weekly, weekly, monthly type area, we'll yeah. be all the way down to like a 40% or 60% discount. Wow. So it is a good amount of money that's chopped off the original bill. Yeah. But you're really going back to clean windows that you really just cleaned. So right. it's like your storefront, you know, like your storefront route. You know, if somebody's getting it done once a week, most of the time guys are going to charge them the least they could absolutely charge them to make it happen. If they're getting it done every six months, you're going to be there for longer because the place is going to be dirtier. Right. So you're going to charge them a more dollar per hour. Yeah. So we just base it off of percentages. And like I said, you always just make it work for you. And uh, I don't think you could uh, I don't think you could go wrong with residential route work. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of a, a, to play off of that, how we did it was the five windows uh, for twenty five dollars or twenty. What is it? Twenty dollars for five windows. And it's ground level windows, five exterior windows on the house for 20 bucks. And it's done every week or every two weeks. That's kind of how right. our breakdown goes. And uh, all we do is glass at that point. It's got to be either a casement window where the screen is on the inside or the screens come down permanently so we can always access them and they're always having a beautiful view. And right. uh, how we kind of put it out there was for people to say, hey, we allow you to pick five windows and those five are your most important windows. The two over the sink, you know, the three that are in your living room, the five that are in your living However you want it to break down. We'll make sure that those are done every week or every two weeks, regardless if you're home or not, you care or you don't, you call us or you don't, they're always done and they're always clean for you no matter what goes on. Right. The big thing, like you said, is that people, you know, it's like a service magic or home advisor or whatever they're called now, thumbtack and right. stuff where people are always like, well, I'm not going to group on my, my numbers, but the upsell side of it, when people see your truck all the time, it's like... It's like uh, maid services. Like people hire you, even if they don't want ma maintenance. You know, they'll call and go, "Hey, yeah, I'm. I live down the street from Bob Johnson. And we see your truck there all the time. I, I don't. What are you? What are you guys doing over there? You, you they get the windows done that often? Well, we're they're one of our maintenance customers, or we're that's usually when we're doing a maintenance plan. That's what we call it too. Yep. And they go, oh, well, is there another option? Absolutely. We can do it every six months, or we can do it even more frequently, depending on how often you want it done. Right. And uh, it's just getting in front of those people that is a, that's kind of a huge upsell. Uh, our kind of education for people is just like you said. It's almost when we have somebody, we always have our plans. Okay, well, now that everything's done, you like what you see, let's go ahead and schedule your next appointment. Would you like it in six months, in three months, or would you like to sign up for one of our premium packages that are um, um, uh, maintenance packages? Right. And then they're like, what is that? And you explain the whole thing. And they're like, wow, that's pretty. Can yeah. we do both? And usually it's the same thing. I don't know how it is for you, but we'll do those five windows. But then still every three months or six months or once a year or however they have it done, we're still there doing everything inside and outside, but just keeping up with those. And you're cleaning clean windows for the exactly. most part. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? Like you see a lot of landscaping companies, they have residential route work. You know, they have people that they go there and mow their lawn once every week or once every two weeks, you know? Yeah. So it is a thing. It's just, I guess, a matter of finding the people that see the value in and having their windows maintained that frequently. Yeah. A lot of people entertain at their home. So it, it all depends, you know, if they're having a lot of people in and out and they want to show off, then those are the best customers for you. Yeah. Well, it's one of those, like, uh, if you have uh, maid services come, you're having somebody clean your house every two weeks. Why not have your windows done every two weeks too? Most likely, those that maid service isn't going to be doing the and the the thing that i say the, there's a big difference mentally between the words dollars and the words bucks so every time i always say it i'm like hey for 20 bucks you can bucks always sounds cheaper right so i'm always right, 20 right. bucks we'll be here every week or every two weeks we'll take care of those windows you'll never even run into us or see us we're in and out so absolutely fast but your windows are always clean and right. uh for that people go for 20 bucks i mean 
that's like you know a couple trips to Starbucks, you know. So <laughs> it's really it's really really catching on, and I I see a lot more guys talking about it and girls kind of talking about starting to do that and it's really interesting to see how everybody's done like yours like having the three options or three packages is right. really pretty smart now how how does your pricing structure go if i say i want kind of everything i want the um plus package right or the what did you call it the uh, we, we have the works package the works so that, yeah it's our it's our most expensive package and right now we're at 17 dollars a window and um you know a lot of people will you know they kind of like say, you know, whoa, we've never had this done. I can't believe it's $17 a window. And you just let them know, you know, it's a, we're doing the inside and outside glass. We're making sure the tracks and sills have nothing left in them, no dirt, no debris. We're cleaning your screens. And then they, then they start to ask more questions like, how do you clean the screens? Yeah. And I say, oh, it's funny you ask. Check out the Zero Screen Cleaner. And then they, these people are almost amazed at the stuff that they didn't even know existed to oh, clean yeah. windows. Yeah. You know, you, you, you show them your, your pure water system and we always get the, are you going to dry those off? Are you going to squeegee them <laughs> off? I say, I say, no, I said, but come back in 20 minutes and look at that same window and tell me if it needs to be dried off. You know, yeah. so I guess there's a little bit of an education when it comes to that. And, um, yeah, we just make them aware of it. And as soon as they're aware of it, it's like the greatest thing to them. They, they see it's so simple. They know people aren't up on ladders. They know when we're using the screen cleaner that it's getting the most thorough screen cleaning they've ever seen before. Yeah. And the guys aren't wiping them down with rags or spraying them off with power washers, scarring them. So it's uh it's it's a good thing to see people kind of like let their guard down when you show them what you're equipped with. Yeah. And uh and yeah, we just uh we just meet more and more people and, and educate more and more people as we go. Yeah, and not to jump off topic, but did you meet Jared Martinez? He was in yeah. the booth, the WCR booth. That was the first time I officially met him. Like he's standing with a bunch of people, and I'm like, "Hey, how are you?" You know, we meet right. a th- billion people there, and yeah. you know, usually people kind of recognize you, and they're like, "Oh, hey!" And then I forget people's names. Which again, if you went up and said, "Hey, how are you?" and I don't remember your <laughs> name, I'm sorry, but uh, it's not that I mean to. But he was there and talking, and then somebody said something. It was like, "Oh, Jared, yeah, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "Wait a second. I'm like Jared Martinez." He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" I finally I've talked to the guy. Yep. A hundred times I've, you know, but I've never met the guy. Super cool dude. But anyway, that's a samurai bucket and then Aztec screen washer. Super, super cool dude, but not to get yeah, off Yeah, we, uh, we got we got to talking a little bit there. It was the first time I met him. And uh, I was like, I was super thankful that he's coming out with the things he's coming out with because I'm a fan of all of them. I mean, that screen cleaner, you know, is... It sells it's jobs. Unbe- it, yeah. It's just uh, like when- people see that and it's this open door to talk. You know, it's like right. why car dealerships put that Ferrari in the in the dealer in the front of the stores to get people to talk to them. You know, it's the same exactly. thing. Exactly. Even even people walking past the house, you know, you, you have somebody exercising or walking past the house. They kind of like, they look at you <laughs> and they're like, what is that? And I said, oh, it's a screen cleaner. Next thing you know, you're handing a card out. They're calling you. So. It's yeah. all in, it's all in the cell, man. You know, oh, you yeah. want to attract these people to you somehow. You know, you do a million things online to get people to call your phone. You're posting these videos. You know, why not do the same thing when you're on the job? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's the candy in a trade show booth. You know, you go through a trade show and every single booth has candy. It's not because they want to give you candy. It's because you got to get close enough they can talk to you, and that's kind of the right, same concept. Right. But uh, so back to kind of residential world, the thing that really interests me in kind of how you're doing it versus how I'm doing it is the time aspect. How do you kind of play the time? Now, before we started this episode, we were talking back and forth and you said something kind of along the lines of filling your schedule. So you go on a weekly basis and you fill when you're in the area. Is that kind of how it goes? Um, Yeah, we we kind of look at the we have a, a pretty decent sized storefront route. And we kind of look at the open areas um, that we already have. And then we just fill them in there. You know, we nice. let them know, hey, we could get to you on uh, Thursdays is a lighter day for us um, in other areas. So if that works, that'd be great. And most of the time, you know, they take whatever you have available. And yeah. uh, we just let them know, hey, we could come here every two weeks. We could be here 8 a.m. if that works. Next thing you know, you almost become like a part of their family. They're giving you the gate codes. They're giving you the Mm -hmm. codes to the garages. You know, I've had people not even be at the house. We go there, take care of the windows. They're Venmoing you the money. So there's a a lot of, you know, relationship building 
um, with this. You, you see them so frequently. You almost you almost become part of their regular routine. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, not to sound old, because I know you're like, you know, 18 or something, but um, I just heard of this Venmo whatever, like uh, yeah. Alex Lamborghinis from uh, WCR lost a $10 bet. And uh, he was like, oh, give me your Vimo. And I'm like, what is that? I don't even know. So I, I'm like getting into the age here. So I'm, oh I'm my God. not staying up with technology. But, Get but yeah, with that's, it, Josh. Get with it. I know. I know, man. But that's exactly it, though. Like you said, too, getting to kind of fill that, I really, really dig that. So so one of our big things that we do, too, is everything we do route-wise, commercial route, uh, residential route, whatever, is all on the week. So some people go, oh, it's once a month or twice a month. Well, you're going to screw yourself out of payments and you're messing up your calendar because there's not four month or four weeks in every month. So it's weekly. Every two weeks, every four weeks, those are what it is. It actually gives right. you an extra couple payments and it doesn't screw up your calendar. So literally every week or two, you know, as they're eventually rotating throughout the year. But what we do too is um, on route and in residential, if we're in that area, they get tacked onto that. So if our route, which there's a lot of areas that we have that are based around kind of like a downtowny area, or we call it like a, a, a West City type area where there's stores, mm -hmm. but yet there's residential around. We get a lot of them in that area where it's just hop off the road and down a street, you got to that place. So it right. builds your commercial route, which means everything else you make, you make more money, but it gets you in front of the eyes of people. It keeps you relevant to these people who you still want them to go every six months, every whatever. I mean, we even leave uh, papers to say, hey, we were here cleaning your windows. And on that door hanger, it says, um, hey, we were here for your, uh, you know, um, maintenance clean. This is what we did. Uh, or there's a spot where there are any issues present. We always put no if there's nothing issues. And then we always go on the bottom in a personal note. Give me a call to set up your your uh, uh, actual full window cleaning. Right. And it, it works. It's relevant. They always see you. They always know you. And like you said, you're like building this awesome rapport with people because you're there so much. If you're there yep. only once a year, sure, people like you and they remember you that once a year. But it's it's a lot harder kind of, of a sell when you're trying to remind people who you are and that they need the service. A hundred percent. Yeah. So what do people not like about this whole program? Have you run into any kind of like pissy people or stuff that they just that like don't get like the, the water on the windows? But I mean, is there something with the route side that people are like, I just can't get behind it because of this? No, you know what? We, um, we don't really push the residential route. It's almost like we offer it, but we're never like pushy to say, hey, let's, you know, sign up for every every two weeks and spend yeah. a couple hundred dollars to get your windows done. We just kind of throw it out there, no pressure. And uh, if they, you know, want it, we have no problem putting them on the schedule. But um, we haven't had anybody, you know, really complain about anything. I mean, every now and then we have, like I said, people will ask about the the windows being wet. And, you know, like I said, the, the tools, you got to trust your instruments. Yeah. And as long as your, you know, your TDS is down, and you're doing it the proper way, you're getting the good scrub and you're rinsing it, you're not rushing your rinse, those windows are going to come out fine. So let yeah. them you know, ask their questions and then come back to the window and say, look, I never touched it and look at it. The yeah. rest of the house will be this way too. Yeah. Um, we had one person one time complain about signing our waiver. Before every every job <laughs> we work on, we have them sign a, uh, a, a waiver that just states we can't be responsible for any – pre-existing conditions yeah if we go into your house and your screens as soon as we touch them they're all crumbling in our hands or say you already have a cracked window we will point these things out to you and this is what the waiver states we'll point it out to you before we touch it so yeah. you know that this window was like that before we touched it and we just can't be held liable for it right we don't start working until we get that signature because God forbid, you know, there's a million people out there. There's a million different types of people. And uh, you, you never know when you're going to come across someone that's just going to try to get one over on you. And I don't feel like replacing a house full of <laughs> broken windows. <laughs> yeah. And, and this not to bring kind of everybody's got their story and knows, but I literally uh, today, the day that I recorded this, uh, a buddy of mine who's got a company, we talk quite a bit. Uh, was accused of scratching windows and it was obviously not from the window cleaner uh, the whole thing played out 
Um, the downside was the insurance company just wanted to go away. So they paid the guy. So, you know, insurance was like, all right, well, give us your deductible for this issue. And we took care of it, but it makes a tick on there. It makes you look bad. It's, yeah. it's just a horrible. Yeah. So I completely oh, yeah. understand the waiver part, you know, and, and, and sometimes they're like, oh, is this a hold harmless? I said, no, ma'am or, or sir. And I say, you know, this states that if that anything happens and it is our fault, we will absolutely take care of it. And for example, I'm sure we've all broken windows before. Yeah. Um, we had a storm window job and I took, it was the big, you know, wooden frame storms that hook on at the top. Mm -hmm. And I took this, this storm off and I leaned it up against it. And I, I said to myself, when I was leaning this thing, I said, this is going to tip over. <laughs> I turned my back for a second. Beesh, the thing broke. Luckily I have a glass guy in town that I work with. And if I ever have any issues, he always takes care of me. You know, that day, I had that thing replaced and I had it installed. And, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, you, you know, just be honest. And, and I hear a lot of people say this sometimes, and I don't tell anybody to go out and mess up, but it's almost worth it to when you mess up to show that you're that guy that's going to own it oh, yeah. and fix it. And now this person's going to love you even more because you didn't try to get one over. You didn't try to hide it. Mm -hmm. you, you messed up. You fixed it. And you told them and they're going to say, hey, this guy is a stand up guy. So yeah. I feel every now and then if you mess up, you know, don't don't sweat it. It, it could be a good thing. Just correct it yeah. and let the homeowner know. It's it's if you bring it up, it's it's awesome. Right. I mean, how many times you've been in there? Oh, hey, just so you know, we got to this window. It's cracked. We didn't touch it. Uh, but I wanted to bring that. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Don't definitely skip that. But if I did the whole house and left that one, didn't say anything. Right. They go, what the hell? You cracked my... Yeah. Like, you just bring it up to them, and yep. they know stuff's happening. You're dealing with glass. Like, it can yeah. happen. Hey, I'm so truly sorry about that. I have a great guy that does this work. I'm going to get it fixed right now and bring it right back. So, yep. um, it completely makes sense that way. Yep. The truth will set you free. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, exactly, exactly right. Now, I don't want to brag, but... Um, like 50% of the people, like our joke in the town I live in now is what part of New York are you from? Because pretty much everybody's from New York. 90% of those people are from Long Island or Long yeah. Island. You got to add that G in for the next word. But um, we don't Island. have, yeah, yeah, we don't have storms here. So as somebody from there who, you know, you, you're going to move down here eventually. I just know it. We don't have <laughs> storms. I have not seen a storm window down here. So that just, must just, be nice. Just put it out there. It's the best feeling ever. Yeah, the best. Stor storms are storms can be a nightmare, and um, especially if they're old. You uh, know, newer storms I don't mind as much, but um, old aluminum it, oxidized like triple yeah. tracky windows where as soon as you start pivoting and it goes, and then you get the cr crack across. Yep. Like <sighs> exactly, and that's why we have our waiver signed. You know, yeah. and if I do it, hey, I'll I'll replace it. But if you have a, a two hundred year old house with storm windows on it. <laughs> I'm either walking away or we're gonna have yeah. to we're gonna have to charge you a lot of money in case I wind up breaking windows yeah. <laughs> moving the things. Guess what? Your windows go this way and your house settled. I mean, in a hundred years I'm telling you your house settled. <laughs> One of those windows or multiples are not gonna be able to open. They're right. not gonna be functioning, I'm telling you. Yeah. Now you get to houses, everything here is new construction and like crank out windows and like, oh sorry oh, for God. the pain in the butt windows, I have a blind and you're like <laughs> <laughs> blind i can do that no worries yeah well one other thing back to kind of a residential route is the advertising side of things so i kind of want to dive kind of into all this and i know you said you don't do advertising for them you just bring it up right, right. which is awesome but if you were to advertise in your brain how would you do that how would somebody um, who say wants to get into this and doesn't do residential route how would they advertise to kind of get the the word out that they do it all right. Um, the biggest thing that has helped me in my business has been door hanging. Um, I, I can't believe there's guys that don't do it. Um, it has brought our company to a whole nother level at such a minimal cost. Yeah. And um, it, it really is. It just spreads the word like wildfire. Even if you're not getting the phone calls, if you have 10,000 door hangers, and you put all of them out, you know, it'll probably cost you a couple of hundred bucks, maybe, maybe even five or $600 for 10,000 yeah. door hangers. Okay. 
if your average ticket is anywhere in the two to 500 range, you make your money back in one or two phone calls. So we're a big fan of door hanging everywhere. Yeah. Wherever we go, whenever we're doing a house, we go up and down that whole block. If it's a really good area, we'll spend a couple of hours and just hit the whole neighborhood. And uh, I, I stress it to guys on the pro group all the time that are having trouble spreading the word. Get yourself door hangers. Get those things printed up and seriously just drive around and hand those things out. Let them know your services. Don't make it too complicated. Yeah. Um, if you feel like I give I give a little bit of a discount on mine. Um you know, it gets the phone ringing and uh, you let them know what you do. Your window cleaning, screen cleaning, skylights. If you do gutter cleaning, power washing, whatever you do, keep it nice, short and simple. Make sure your logo is on there, your phone number. And uh, I'm telling you, the, the numbers, the numbers don't lie and you cannot go wrong with those numbers. If you get 10,000 door hangers for 500 bucks, you can't lose. Yeah. If you're thinking about how much you, you said, say you're, Ticket for even numbers is two hundred bucks, and it costs you four hundred to print the flyer or the, yeah. the door hangers. It's like two of them out of ten thousand just yeah. paid it. I mean, you're gonna have one, two, five percent of the people you handed them to even keep it. It'll be on people's fridges. How many times have you gone into yeah. a job and you're like, hey, that's my I, brochure. Like, you know, right. like I, I sent that out like two years ago. Like, hey, people still yeah. have it on their fridge. So yeah. it's it's super beneficial. I like that idea. The, the yeah. one kind of that we do. Um, also is in Facebook ads is that we'll do, um, windows, five windows cleaned for, we'll say the price just all right there. Five windows cleaned anywhere in the house, uh, first floor, blah, blah, blah. kind of explain it. Um, any five windows for 20 bucks. However we want to word it because in our area too, the way that this works, that's, it's very easy for us to do the outs like that. You could do it just like you said too. the different tier packages. That's freaking awesome. Um, we put it out there super simple and it gets people to click, even if they look and they go, well, I don't really know that I have the five windows that I want to do, but I'll do regular. I mean, you're cross selling residential route with full cleaning. It's, it's right. really, it's kind of an, a nice kind of easy way to, the only thing I don't like about it. And I've seen people kind of do this is the whole bait and switch style where, they go, you know, window cleaning as low as $20 or whatever it is. And then it, they call and it's like, well, that's for five windows. And that's a partial yeah. cleaning. You don't, don't bait and switch. Don't be an a-hole, but oh, you yeah. can put it out there to kind of get people explain everything that it is. You can't bait and switch. If you tell them everything it's for five windows in your house, you know, right. Playing it that way is just another way to kind of step out from everybody else. The noise of 20 windows, 149, 20 windows, 199. Like everybody does that, you know, and they're, they're racing for price and it's all that cliche. This kind of helps right. you get into that almost like a niche of like, yeah, all those other guys, everybody cleans windows, but this guy, he he'll do he'll do five windows or whatever it is for for this. You know, it's it's right. kind of a it's nice way like, to get in. It's sort, of, it's sort of like the clickbait, you know, like when you're watching YouTube or something like that, and the title says something unbelievable, and you're like, I gotta watch this, and then it yeah. doesn't even happen. Yeah, you know, the person thumbs like that, down. And at the end of the day, <laughs> I feel like that's that's making them, you know, look at you differently now and it's saying this oh, guy's yeah. a snake. Now you you automatically understand that uh, you're not on the up and up if that's what's going on. So it's yeah. the you know number three will shock you. And you're <laughs> like that's just for you to click. <laughs> but yeah, I I think it's a really really good program. If you're trying this program, you're listening, or you are watching on a YouTube, uh, shoot me a text at eight six two three one two two zero two six. Literally, that's my cell phone. And let me know how it works for you. I'd love to hear it. This is such an interesting kind of new aged way to kind of do windows and to add a service without adding a service. You clean windows, you can clean five windows or a hundred windows. It's just adding another way to generate revenue, but keep yourself relevant. There's so many benefits. Here. I literally was trying to think about this before when people were talking about it. I cannot think of a downside at all to this. I mean, for the contractor or for the homeowner or for any of it. I, I can't think of a downside to it. Yeah. It's a win-win for everybody. It's beautiful. So so this is what it is. The next time we talk to Window Joe, you're going to have like 500 homes on this and that's all you're going to do. You're not even going to you're not even going to have like commercial stuff anymore. You're just going to be you're going to be the route cleaner for houses. If I have 500 homes, nobody's ever Ooh. speaking to Window Joe again. I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> Retiring. Uh, uh, he lives in Maui now. He, he See you later. Right? 
Well, it, it is. It, it literally could be produced that way because here's the other thing in our industry is frequency is nowhere. Like there is no guaranteed frequency unless you're in route. And then commercial route. So residential route brings frequency. Even in the middle of the winter, people always go, well, how are you going to clean my windows in January? Well, we put a solution in the window or in the in the water, just like we do on commercial projects. And they go, really? Oh, absolutely. And if it's too cold that day or we have inclement weather, we'll push it to that time. But if it's just too cold, we get one of those cold snap weeks, we'll push it to the next week. We very hard not try not to do that. But you can just on route, you know. So it's just a win-win. It's, it's a really, really awesome thing. Cool, man. Tell us one more time, uh, your YouTube channel, uh, what you're about. Tell us. Yeah, man. Uh, Window Joe on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty uh, active on the Facebook scene. Um, if anybody has any questions that are in the uh, the pro group or anything like that, don't hesitate to message me. I will, uh, I'll help you out any way I can. And if I don't know it, I'll send you to Josh and he knows <laughs> it all. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> I only, only pretend, only pretend. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I have no problem answering questions. Any, anybody wants to reach out to me, I'm a person. That's awesome. So, What's uh, your email? Uh, if you got an email for uh, viewers to kind of ask questions, where would you like yeah, to my, uh My email is uh, my company's email. It's always bright and clear at gmail.com. So you guys can nice. hit me up on there too and uh, ask away. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, I, I appreciate you kind of even bringing the topic up because, uh, like I said, I'm geeked. I could talk for another 20 minutes, I know. But uh, uh, I, I really like to follow and see how you do, too, and, and watch this thing grow. So it's pretty awesome. If you're still listening right now, go check Window Joe out on YouTube. Subscribe because that just is like the virtual high five of awesomeness to any YouTuber or anybody who's putting content out there. It definitely, definitely, definitely helps. And that's how you rate how much you're loved. So go love Joe. And if you're still listening and you want 5% off any supplies, you have made it to the code. The code this week is Window Joe. That is the code for this week for 5% off. All you need to do is call me or text me even better, 862-312-2026. I got stuff in my cart. I want it. And code is Window Joe, and you're going to get that. So definitely, definitely do that. Give us a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. Even if you're not, go down. Do thumbs up. Let's get to 50. I want 50 this week. Do it. It was so appreciated. And until next week, go out there and be epic. <laughs>